Hey guys, so we're back with the uh, Becca collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. I'm so excited to show you guys this product. I just want to give you a quick tip. Um, this Thursday on Sephora.com and Sephora.ca at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is about 10 p.m., like about lunchtime in Canada, um, the whole Champagne Pop collection will be available on Sephora. So I bought this for $67 Canadian. That's with tax here in Ontario. Uh, this is the outside packaging. It's pretty, um, it's got this nice gold exterior with the white emblem with the name and Becca in it. Let's get into the actual packaging. This is what the palette looks like from the outside. It's pretty much all gold. It has the names of all the colors on the back. There I am. And, um, oh, I'll flip that for you. It's got color, all the colors on the back. And um, on the front here, my camera would focus. It is this plastic kind of rubberized material. I don't know, that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's a weird consistency. I'm so, but other than that, the palette is fantastic. Okay, so once you open it, you get this nice um, labeling sort of that tells you all the names of all the colors, and you get this nice size mirror, and you can see me there. Um, I'm just going to go through the colors quickly and tell you a little bit about them. You get three blushes and two highlighters. Um, so the first blush here is a luminous blush, and it is called Rose Rose Spritz. Spritz, sorry. And then you get two mineralized brushes blushes here. This is Armoretto, and this is Pomplamousse. Very creative names. And as you all know, this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, and this is the new highlight, which I'm super excited about in Prosecco Pop. For the price of this entire palette, it is such a good price and such a great deal considering that one highlighter would cost you around uh, 50 bucks Canadian anyway. So to pay 67 for three blushes and two highlights is an awesome price. So let's get into the swatches. Okay guys, let's get into the swatches. Here are all the swatches laid out. I'm gonna go through them individually, but I just wanted you guys to be able to see them all on my hand. Now these are super pigmented. I've layered them just so you could see them pro like prominently on my skin, so just keep that in mind. And for shade reference, I am about an NC45 in MAC. I'm about a Y44, sorry, 455 in Makeup Forever. And my favorite, I am a MAC, Mark Jacobs, sorry, 82 Cocoa Light. Okay guys, let's go through the swatches individually. Just keep in mind, these swatches will be up on my Instagram, which I'll stick down below and my website. So this is the first blush here. It is called Rose Spritz. It's a luminous blush. It is just the nicest, pinkiest, gold, peachy tone. It really reminds me of um, Nars's Orgasm, but a lot better, less chunky, because Nars's Orgasm was a lot chunkier, whereas this is more soft and more subtle, perfect for the summertime. As you guys all know, this is my favorite highlighter of life. This is Champagne Pop. It is just the perfect color for my skin tone, um, and anyone darker than me, it just never looks gray on me. It's just the perfect color. Um, next I have Armoretto, which is a mineralized blush, and it is more of, it has a sheen to it, it's so pretty, it's my new favorite everyday blush. It is just perfect to give you that nice, uh, flushed tone on your, um, cheeks. And my new favorite highlighter is Prosecco Pop. It is just the perfect gold color, true gold, and it's really beautiful on my skin tone. It's perfect for those nights out when you really want to stand out. And lastly is a great mineral blush, which I didn't have in my collection, and it is Pomplamousse. It is just like the prettiest purpley 
toned uh, pink. And it also, all Becca's Luminized blushes have a little bit of a sheen to them. And this one is just no exception. It is like so pretty. Um, here are all the swatches again.